Welcome to Brett Ridge Ways Learning for Life. This is Lesson 6, Part 6 of an 8-part series. She'll be coming around the mountain, and the series is Learning a Tune from Scratch. If for some reason you just found this video on YouTube or you happened upon it, and you thought you would jump in on this, I'm going to recommend you don't even do this video, but rather fast forward to the end of the video, look for the end screen, which will take you to the very first lesson. Because this isn't just learning a tune, this is taking the basic melody. It's actually learning a scale, taking the basic melody, figuring out that melody, and then building on it step by step by step. You have to have the foundation. So I would recommend going back to the beginning. In that first lesson, we taught you a G scale. And then I gave you some tips and hints and ideas on how to pick out the very first phrase of she'll be coming around the mountain. Then I encouraged you to try to figure out the whole rest of the tune using those same techniques and those same ideas. I've said this in every lesson. Whether you succeeded in that or not does not matter at all in any way. What does matter is that you tried, that you put the effort into it, that you tried to work it out. I also encouraged you to take nursery rhymes, Three Blind Mice, Mary Had a Little Lamb, Vera Jaca, whatever, and do the same thing. Try to pick out the basic melody using that G scale. So if you don't have that foundation down, because after that, I, I did teach you the, the basic melody. If you don't have that down, you don't want to do anything past that. You need to have a firm foundation. You need to have a settled foundation. If it's not settled and firm, you don't want to try to build on top of it. You don't want to have to think about what you're building on top of it. You need to have that foundation down first. So that when you add stuff, you don't have to think about the foundation anymore. So I hope that makes sense. In the second lesson, uh, after we did the basic melody, we worked on some chords, we worked on timing, uh, and we where you could put in different things. We had you add uh, pinches and, and skips and drones. Uh, we also talked about um, different picking patterns throughout these lessons, forward, backward rolls, forward rolls, and, and we did that step by step. So now what we're going to do and then, I'm sorry, the last thing we did was hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides. We put that all into the tune. Not teaching it a specific way, giving you the option to mix it up and develop your own tune. So what we're going to do today is throw in a G lick. Now, I taught this lick in the last series. I'm going to reteach it and then give you a variation of it. The lick is simply this. It's a very common lick. I'm going to teach it again. You're going to play the third string open with your thumb. Forward roll, 5-3-1. And when you do the three, when you hit that middle string, you're going to slide. So... And you're going to come back open with your index. So if you watch my right hand... Then you're going to go back to the fourth string at two and do a pull off. Now, as you're doing the pull off, you want to use your middle finger to hit that first string. And then you're going to end on the third string. So learn it slow. And then learn it up to speed or faster. Work on the speed. Again, not so that you can play it fast, but when you play it fast, it kind of shows that you've got it down. Um, I mentioned that I'm taking a language course with an app called Duolingo. And when you repeat the phrases in the other language, you know, it's, it's very easy to sit there and repeat it very slow, but when you can let the words flow, then you have it down. It's the same idea. So, so let's see, or see where we can put this into the tune. Now, 
I just put it in twice. You don't even have to put it in that many times. The idea is you want to put it where you want it. So let's start it again. Right now. So I only put it in once there. Let's put it in twice. That was a different lick. You could have thrown it in there, though. So I'm going to play it through again. Just listen. So that was kind of overkill but I still want you to do it. Try to throw it in every place that you could throw in that G lick. But then when you play with it, you don't want to do that because it, it is overkill, but you want to find where it sounds good. So the, so one time when you're playing it through, you could put it at the beginning. You could do it once. The second time you play it through, you could do it twice. The third time you play it through, you could not do it at all there, do it later in the tune. And that's my point. I think I played it five times. You can mix it however you want. Throw it where, where it goes. And again, as we learn, we're going to teach you new G licks that are interchangeable. So I want you to just work on this one right now. And I think we're going to do one more because um, we're going to do a D lick or change our D in our next lesson. So let's do C. Um, and I said I was going to give you a variation. Let me Let me do that first. And all I'm doing is sort of a forward backward. It's I'm just not doing the slide. I'm not doing the pull off. So that is a variation. Now I did have to put that melody note in there. And actually I didn't. It would work both ways. So you see how you can mix those up. So let's do the C. Right here. Now, all you can, you, there's so many things. You could go, which is just three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. Three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one, three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. You could also go, which we've done that before. We did that in the last set. What you're going to do is make your C chord. You're going to do a hammer on with your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. I'm playing four, two, three, one. Then I'm going to move my middle finger over to the third string, second fret, and do a pull off. Play three, two, four. So let's try that. Sorry. So it's going to take more than just that one time through. So let's do it again. You're going to actually have to do that twice. Let's do it again.
something I just threw in, I'm pinching the first two strings. Let's do it again. Again, don't worry about that ending. You can use that G lick, but you want to work on this today for your for this week or till your next lesson. There's your G lick and then your C lick. And in the tune, you're going to do that twice. So you got a G lick there, C lick next week. We're going to do a D lick for you, adding it to this tune. Next week will be the last lesson that we add things to. Again, as we do this more, you're going to get more licks, more different things to try. Uh, and again, there's so much, so much to do. So work on that. And then uh, next week we'll do the D. Uh, thank you, patrons, for your giving, for your support. If you've stumbled upon this lessons, or if you've been watching these lessons, if you're learning from these lessons, it's only because there are those giving back. When people support through Patreon, that's what keeps this program alive. That's what keeps these lessons free. So many people do subscriptions. Nothing wrong with that. So many people charge. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, this is not just a library of tunes. This is a library on how to learn to play bluegrass banjo. And it's only because there are those giving to support this program. So thank you, patrons. And if you're learning from this program, if you're devouring, if you're consuming these programs, these lessons, I would ask you consider becoming a patron as well. Uh, entry level $5 gives you a, a sticker that says, I support tr traditional music. More important than that, you are invited to a monthly live stream workshop uh, on Zoom where we all get together, we see each other, we talk, uh, we answer questions, we jam, whatever it is, we have something new each month. And even more important than that, you are supporting traditional music, keeping this music alive, keeping this program alive as a free 24-7 library that you can refer to and go to any time that you would like. But again, nothing is free in that some people take advantage of that, but some people are paying for that. Uh, I'm not charging anything for any of these lessons, only because of those who give. So thank you, patrons, for your generosity for your support, and anyone who might consider becoming a patron. Please share the lessons. Please get the word out. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week for the... It's technically the next of the last lesson. Our last lesson will actually be a practice session where you can go through everything that we've talked about. So one more thing, and then uh, the final jam. We'll see you very soon on the next lesson. God bless.